The history of Bedford Stuyvesant Restoration dates back to 1960. It was a result of community organizing work done by local residents to draw attention to inner city poverty. It's just a great picture of uh, Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm, yeah. Restoration is known as the first community development corporation in the United States. And it's a great picture of Bobby. What year was that picture? I assume that was 67, 68. And the idea was that the community residents would identify their needs and their aspirations and that the private sector and the public sector would provide know-how but also leave behind some capacity in terms of uh, teaching people how to undertake urban development and build communities to sustain communities and open businesses. They were building sort of a prototype and the um, city was very much involved. Can you point out some of the uh, city uh, employees that have been engaged with the organization? Sadie Fettles, and I think one of the things that's really important about Sadie is that she, in the 43-year history of Bedford Stuyvesant Restoration, is the only female who served as chairman of the board. And over the years, we developed more than 2,000 units of affordable housing, both rental and um, home ownership units. We also developed this facility, which is called the Restoration Plaza which is a commercial, cultural, uh, and educational facility. Cotton Rochelle has uh, two floors, second and third floor. Restoration Plaza has been a hub for the community for a number of years. Um, this is the largest cultural uh, site in central Brooklyn. It provides employment for a lot of individuals who otherwise would not have been employed. We have a 30,000 square foot supermarket here. It's important for people to be able to walk to the grocery store or drive several blocks as opposed to having to travel to other communities. And it's important not just for convenience, but it's also important because it builds a local economy and it makes people feel better about their community and it adds stability. Well, Ed, you know, one of the things we're excited about is this uh, renovation of uh, Bedford Stuyvesant Restoration Plaza is very important to the organization as it is to the community. We're putting in new windows, uh, waterproofing, and this is going to be uh, granite. We're helping them to, to renovate the plaza, which is a $15 million um, loan, uh, of which $11.4 million is a bridge loan, and then there's $4 million as uh, new market tax credits. I'm really excited about this. We have been fortunate to enter into an agreement with the City of New York to manage Financial Empowerment Center for Brooklyn for the purposes of bringing to residents basic skills concerning the management of their money. They may be going through financial difficulties, some are experiencing foreclosures, uh, some are, have uh, outstanding student loans, so it's just a place where they can enrich their lives. Do they ask questions about their credit score? Absolutely. Um, we had Wealth Building Tuesdays where, where as a personal banker um, at our local branch and I came in and we taught financial education to um, about 40 clients per night. But we're also creating this new lobby here, which is exciting. City's been on our board. Um, City's been a funder throughout our 44 year history. So we have felt very fortunate to have a very strong relationship. It is important for city to work with organizations such as Bedford Stuyvesant yeah. Restoration Corps because we have the same focus, revitalizing communities, making it better because we have a presence there.